Hello everybody, I'm Mandy Sigaloff uh, from Tax Assist Accountants and today we are going to take you through how to add a client to your XPM. Um, whether you're a Tax Assist franchisee or on the Tax Assist Academy program um, and you've graduated now from the initial training course, this is a video reminder on how to set up new clients on your Zero XPM. You can start doing your tax returns either under your own tax agent license or under our Tax Assist Tax tax agent supervision program. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to clients along the top here and we're going to go to new client. Now the great thing about XPM, it can be used as a, a customer management system as well, or client management system, um, and you can put your prospects in here as well. Now the first thing you need to do is the business structure. So is this client an individual company, um, individuals also goes or go in as um, you can also put them in a sole trader, super, or a trust. So we're just going to do a simple individual at the moment. And this here is just this we've got a number of different uh, areas. So we're going to say it's a neutral bay client, which is our training office. Uh, the partner is going to be myself because I interviewed the client. So I'm going to put myself in as the partner. And the manager here, this manager is always uh, either yourself if you're working under your own tax agent license or under your supervisor if you are working um, under our su tax agent supervision program. So I'm going to put Dimple in here. She's one of our supervisors. The display name is how I would like this client name to be dis displayed. So I'm going to call myself Andy Smith. And I'm going to then put my first name in here and my last name in here. You do need to select your date of birth as well for that client. So I'm going to put a date of birth in here. Your title in and your gender. And you know you need to go into your contact details. So put the telephone number in here. An email address. If you want to check our referrals, where they came from, this one came from our website. Quick find. Of addresses. Then we need to go into our tax and billing. Now this is where it gets important that we actually put the right information in. So we're going to put tax file number in here. If they are a company or if they are a sole trader, you need to put their ABN in here. Now the important thing is, is to ensure that the agent here is selected. If you don't select your agent in this section here, then the prefill will not work. It will come through as a zero. Um, so it won't actually show an error. It will just come through as zero. So you, it's really imperative that you make sure that the agent is selected here. Now, depending on when you're doing your tax returns or what you're doing, you can, if you preparing activity statements, you can then click whether they're quarterly, annually, um, or just prefer preparing tax, you put it there, and select your, your due date here. Put in the bank account details if there is a refund or if you um, are doing a refund, if you're actually doing a refund from their refund. But the important thing to do is to make sure that you have active ATO client ticked in this box here otherwise the pre-fill will not work so you need to make sure that you have done that um, as you all know you do have to verify a client's id which can either be done in person or it can be done on a zoom call or it can be done through anature which is our third port is our uh, partner um, if you do it through anature each signature 
um, each ID check is a $10 fee, um, but it makes it really easy to do. So I did this one in person. They came into our office. It was checked by me. And it was a driving license. And the final thing you have to put in is any billing. Now, I will just put in here, if they are a direct, if they've got a company, it's really handy if you get their uh, director ID number. Um, we are finding, still finding some directors of companies, um, especially small businesses, they still haven't got their director ID number. So, um, you know, it's a good prompt to, to ask them for that director ID number. Okay, and then you just save. Now I have put in an invalid TFN number. It's a great way of checking. Um, I have just put in anybody's ID, uh, TFN number here, made that um, TFN number up. Um, but you shouldn't get an error. It should actually just say, save that as a client. Now I hope that is helpful. Uh, the, just to reiterate the two areas that you must ensure or click to make sure you get the pre-fill when you go through to uh, do the pre-fill is you need to tick the box here that you are going to prepare tax, make sure they're an active ATO client, and make sure that the agent dropdown is filled in. Good luck with your first client. Thanks, bye.